Dr. Crusher here, and we're talking about percentages, decimals, but more importantly, how memorization is so important for those percentages and decimals. And I want to remind you that a lot of this material that we're going over in the Crusher videos is developmental. And in any developmental topic, not just math, memorization is so important. So for example, I want to point out how memorization is vital when you're first learning how to box. So my drill of assistant is going to kind of focus on me. Your coach, when you first learn, is going to teach you six punches. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. And he's going to expect you, he or she, is going to expect you to know these numbers. And there's strategies you can use. You can remember left is odd, right is even. The next lesson, your coach is going to expect you to have those numbers memorized so he can work on combinations. So for example, my beautiful assistant is going to give me a combination right now. So me one, one, down four. One, one, down four. See, you got to know your numbers to get that combination. If my beautiful assistant were to say one, one, down four, and I were to say, so what is that? That's one, that's four, I know down, uh, forget it, I'll be on the floor, right? So you gotta memorize to get to the next step, right? And we'll see how that applies to percentages and decimals. You need to memorize, and I'm gonna write this on the, on the blackboard, P to D, percentage to decimal, okay? You're going to move the decimal to, to the left. Percentage to decimal, you move the decimal, decimal point, two places to the left. D to P, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to move the decimal two places to the right. That got to be memorized. In the same way that you're going to memorize one, two, three, four, five, six, you're going to know it and then you can do combinations. You're going to memorize this. So then when you have problems to do, you recall what must be done. So for example, and there's a strategy by the way, same way I said left was odd, right was even. Good strategy is 100% is one. Kind of keep that in mind. If you eat 100% of a pizza, you've eaten one pizza. So 100% is one. So now, once you've memorized that, let me just do a little erasing here. Point 0.75. First off, it's less than one, okay? So when you move it to the right, decimal to percentage, move two places to the right, 75%. Because you've memorized two places to the right, okay? 98%. What does that equal as a decimal? Two places to the left. But wait a second, Dr. Crusher, where is that decimal place? That's grammar, not math anymore. That's grammar, okay? The decimal point is right there. Nobody's gonna write it for you. That's an implicitness that happens. I know a dean, when his door is closed, he has a sign on the door. The door says, please knock. Now get this, he doesn't expect as instructors walk by the door to go knocking. Because please knock don't mean please knock. Please knock means please knock only if you need to speak to me now. Nine words left unsaid. Everybody understands that. That's a grammar. We're expecting the same type of grammar in the language of math. 98% means 98.0%. And we're expecting you to know that that decimal is there. 
So move it two places to the left. We'll go up there, it equals point nine eight. All right. That's all for today. Dr. Crusher, telling you to have a good week. Memorize.